Greetings brothers, today we're talking about our first Blood Angels painting competition on the channel with some awesome prizes, so stay tuned. So as we are the 9th Legion and as I've just hit 9,000 subscribers, big thank you to everybody that has liked, commented and subscribed so far. Uh, really, really appreciate all the support. So I've got two boxes of the first ever chapter master of the Blood Angels, and this is Chapter Master Ralderon. We're going to open these up, and I'm going to well, I'm going to open up one of them, and I'm going to tell you how you actually make this. But it's quite a limited model. It's not something that we see very often, but I felt like there's so many good painters in our community that the winner of this is going to be a really high level painter. So I thought that this would be a cool model that they can make their own and hopefully they'll share it with the community when they finish it. So I get a lot of support from my channel, patrons and YouTube members. So we're going to do two giveaways. One is exclusively for channel patrons and members and the other one is a general competition for everybody. I'm going to get in some independent judges and we're all going to pick like our top four or five. We're going to make a short list and then we're going to roll some random numbers in it so there's no question mark about favorites or anything like that the competition or the winner will still be randomly selected sometimes it's going to be very difficult to pick between two models of a very high caliber of painting so this is just how i'm going to do it uh if you don't like it i guess you can leave feedback but this is how we're going to do it and the competition is going to be open for a month so let's check out one of these Ralderons and make sure that I just make it clear what you can do and uh, I'll try my best not to do any damage to this because um, these are very cool. I may even try and put it back into the cellophane. Yeah, that's probably, we'll probably put it back into the cellophane just so you can see what you can win. Okay. Easy, this will need to get back into the selfie. If not, I'll just wrap it in cling foil. How about that? So, what you get is your cool little Chapter Master Ralderon card. And he's obviously Forge World and a little instruction. And this does come with a decorative base, so uh, that is cool. And you know what? I was worried. I was going to have to do a lot of explaining about the Forge World stuff. It looks like it comes with a great little Forge World instruction set. Do you know what? I'm going to leave it like that. We won't go into this any further. But it tells you a little bit about priming them. It shows you the little decorative base bits. Uh, he's obviously hidden in here. I do want to take him out, but do you know what? We're just going to look at the instructions, I guess. So, quite a lot of pieces to this model. The base can obviously go and sit within the larger, like, decorative base, or you can use them. I mean, he, he works quite well as, like, a company champion, because he has that sort of cool power sword. I think he's also got an underslung bolter, so you could put that on him or not. And, yeah, a very unique captain, I guess. And maybe you could even do some sort of conversion with him. So the one thing that I was going to say, and I think, I think it's going to say it on this little painting guide you get here, but... Forge World models tend to need to be washed. Now, someone in the comments will probably tell me if I'm wrong here, but what I mean by washed is all the parts get, need to be put into warm, soapy water and just basically quickly scrubbed with like a toothbrush or a nail brush um, because they use some sort of residue to get them out and if you try and spray over the top of it, it doesn't work so well. So I think that's what this is going to say. This is the main reason I wanted to open it. But do you know what? We're not going to go any further than that. Uh, and you guys get the idea. We get two of these to give away. It is a very cool, unique box. Maybe this one is going to go back into its cellophane reasonably nicely. Yeah, I think so. Cool. So, two Ralderons. Uh, painting competition. You've got a month. Uh, hopefully you can enjoy it and I will get these sent out to you wherever you may be. So for the purpose of the competition, I want you to take either a character, a squad, or a vehicle. And I want you to take multiple photos of this. The higher resolution, the better, really. But in one of the photos, I need to see a post-it note with your clearly listed YouTube name next to it. And I'm going to put an example on screen now of what I mean. The post-it note is basically to prove that you have painted that model and it is yours. So, post-it note easily within the picture and then I guess two or three more pictures of the highest quality you can manage. 
Now, if you're not used to taking photos of your models, that's fine. What I have here is two pieces of A4 paper, and you can see that I've actually just used duct tape to create like a bend here. So I would create something like this, where you can position the models along the back, so you can get them on a nice white background. Use your smartphone. Um, don't, you know, obviously have the flash off, but try and get make sure that there's plenty light sources on the models as well. Ideally, you want light on like two sides, so like light facing in from both sides, so you get rid of any heavily shadows. Uh, you can do this with like an, another smartphone. You know, use it like a desk light. Get someone else in your household smartphone. Put the light on in that and point them in, not too close. And then, you know, experiment, but honestly, it's not that hard. You can do pretty decent photos with any smartphone if you're not familiar with it. You can also probably find ways to do this uh, in the latest issues of Games Workshop magazines and White Dwarf. They always tell you how to photo your miniatures. So if you Google it, you could also find a way to do that better as well. So I realized I need to jump in for a very quick edit and say that in case there is any shadow of a doubt, this is a Blood Angels painting tournament in that you must be painting Blood Angels or Flesh Terrors or some sort of successor that I would expect to look very similar to Blood Angels. So reds, blacks, golds. I have seen some people do Sangre Guard in white, but like if they're bright blue and they look like Ultramarines, then that's not a valid entry. So just bear that in mind, please. It is a Blood Angels painting competition. And you know what? If you're watching the channel and you're not huge into Blood Angels, then maybe it's time to grab a character or a squad. And it doesn't, you know, it could be just one or two models. It's really up to you. And then finally, when you've got all that together, I'm going to put an email address in the video description, which is going to be very simple. It's going to be bloodangelscommander at gmail.com. And you, if you... Basically, have your photos ready, create a new email, attach them, send it to that email address before the cutoff date, which I will announce on my community feed when I know which time we're doing the live stream. So you have about a month to get your models ready for this. So thanks again for watching. I really appreciate all the support. I hope you're excited about this painting competition. Best of luck to everybody that enters. And I, of course, will catch you in the next video by the Blood Army Made Strong Brothers. Peace.